processed foods processed foods and more processed foods <laughs> hey guys it's coach d of the 23 percent challenge and today i am sad to say but this is the last video for the nutrition portion of the 23 percent challenge now i know that in the previous videos we've talked about everything that we should be eating fruits vegetables nuts and seeds beans and peas and whole grains and of course water but today i gotta flip the script on you just a little bit rather than talk about what we are supposed to eat i feel that it's equally important that we discuss what not to eat while on the 23 percent challenge so guys get ready because some of this information is going to blow your mind so without any further ado let's dive right in okay so the vegan diet is in full effect and so guys we know that being on a vegan diet means not eating processed foods so in a nutshell what's a processed food well very simply guys a processed food is any food that does not naturally occur in nature so in other words if it doesn't grow on a tree a vine a plant doesn't come from underneath the ground then you cannot eat it that's right guys if it had a mom and a dad if it walked cr crawled slithered or even swam it is completely off the menu so as you can see here a lot of our favorite foods are listed unfortunately i mean take a look you got pizza you got burgers you got fried chicken chocolate sodas i mean who doesn't like a good hot dog well everybody perhaps except me i don't like hot dogs <laughs> but guys i think you get the drift all right so let's continue to talk more about these processed foods and how they are not allowed during the 23 percent challenge but let's remember let's remember the 23 percent challenge is only for seven days that's right guys so surely you can do without some of your favorite foods for seven days i have faith all right guys you know with me there's always more so with this video of course i'm going to give you a very detailed definition for what a processed food really is we'll talk about why they are so dangerous to our health of course we'll go into our five-step process and last but not least guys i got a big big list for you today and i'm talking big <laughs> all right now in the previous videos the most i had was probably 35 items well today when it comes to processed foods i'm bumping it up to 50 items that's right guys five zero so get ready because this list is gonna blow you away all right step number one is of course to watch the video now i will say this that because the list is so long this video is probably going to be a little longer than all the others the other videos ran about 10 11 12 minutes this one's probably going to be upwards of 20 minutes so make sure you're comfortable have a seat and watch the video now i do have one other little thing for you today as far as this video is concerned in all of our previous videos the text per slide was very large so that means that you could probably watch these videos on your smartphone for this one ah you may not be able to do so and the reason is because i wanted to give you a lot of detailed information about the chemicals that are in the processed foods so for this video you probably have to watch it on a pc or a mac so don't fret i'm sure you have access to either a laptop computer or a pc or a mac so have a seat and once again get comfortable because this for some of us is going to be a very bumpy ride <laughs> 
All right, guys, step two, and this is really your true assignment for this video. I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil or pen, and let's write down our top 15 processed foods that we love so much from the list that I'm gonna provide you with in this video. That's right, guys, so all you're gonna do is watch the video, and as the foods go by, just write down your top 15. Now, as you're watching, of course, you want to read about the different types of chemicals that are in the foods that are causing us so much harm. So get ready to write down your top 15 processed foods. All right, step three. Now, in all of our previous videos, I encouraged you to go grocery shopping. But today you are not going to go grocery shopping guys no grocery shopping for processed foods all right remember doing a 23 percent challenge you're only allowed to eat what nature directly provides processed foods are not from nature i mean part of it may be but after all of the processing and after all of the chemicals have been added these foods are way far away from nature so please do not purchase any processed foods while you are in the grocery store. Okay, so please, let's make that clear. Do not purchase <laughs> any processed foods. Step four, now normally for step four, I tell you to go home and eat it, right? Whether it's raw or cooked, or maybe you wanna add it to your Nutribullet, maybe add it to a salad. Guys, when it comes to these processed foods, do not eat them. So that's why I'm saying no, stop, and don't, all right? Danger, danger, danger is ahead. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and be a hypocrite. Guys, to be honest with you, I love processed foods. I have a huge sweet tooth. I love sweets. As a matter of fact, <laughs> my three favorite desserts, in no particular order, happen to be cookies, brownies and donuts i love Krispy cream donuts oh my god but i do know that they are highly processed so do i eat donuts every day no do i eat them every month no but i do allow myself to have them once every other month that's right guys i do a whole dozen all right so i'm just like you so please don't think that coach d is holier than thou because I'm not I'm just like you I love processed foods too but I always limit the amount that I consume so perhaps this is something that you can embed into your diet after the 23% challenge is over with all right guys step five is very very important you know we want to be happy and you know we want to be healthy if you look at these two individuals, here we have a woman and a man. And as you can see, we have before and after pictures of each one of them. Now guys, if you look at the before pictures, yes, they're overweight. Perhaps we could even say obese. And may have, uh, they may be pre-diabetic, they may have high blood pressure, and maybe some other illnesses that we can't quite see. Well, guys, I got to tell you, obesity is, well, it can be the result of a diet that's very high in processed foods. Now, I'll tell you, once you take out the processed foods, look at what happens. Look at the after pictures. Look at that woman. She's able to fit into that nice black dress. Look at your guy here. He almost has a six pack. So, guys, I got to tell you, once you remove processed foods from your diet, amazing and wonderful things will happen to your body. Literally, your body will transform itself. Now, here's something that we need to be careful of. The 23% challenge only lasts for seven days. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that you can get these type of results in seven days by taking out processed foods from your diet. However, I will say that for myself, guys, I've been doing this since January of 2016. And right now we are in May of 2016. So I've been doing this now for five months 
And I got to be honest with you. Ever since I've started, I've lost two inches from my waist. That's right, guys. Two inches. I was at a 36 size waist. Now I'm at a 34. Plus, I do a lot of other things that keep my body healthy. For instance, I do exercise. I do weight training. I do cardio. I go into the sauna after my workouts. Plus, I've started to incorporate a lot more plant foods and way less processed foods in my diet. So taking all that into consideration, along with all of the wellness activities that I'm doing, guys, my body is literally transforming itself. And I want to let you know today that if I can do it, surely you can do it too. So guys, if you want to transform your life, if you want to transform your health, the 23% challenge is definitely for you. So guys, our take home message is let's be happy. Let's be healthy. And last but not least, please stay away from processed foods. <laughs> All right, so guys, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to go away, but please continue to watch. Guys, this is Coach D of the 23% Challenge, and I am signing out. Watch on. Enjoy. Goodbye.